All right, hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDoo.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about this app on the phone here called uh, Font Toe. Uh, basically what this will do for you is it will allow you to arch or make your text go in a circle, and this video is really designed for those folks that are currently using uh, you know, Cricut Design Space and they're wanting to learn how to arch or make your text go in a circle. All right, so obviously we have a blank canvas on here. Uh, we need to add a white background. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to say, what do you want to do? Uh, go ahead and click on the plain image. Now the next thing we have up here in the top right is the white background and that's what we want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to click on this little square with an up arrow in that top right corner and I'm going to go ahead and click on use. So now we have our canvas. Let's go ahead and add some text to it. I'm just going to click on the the white canvas that we have here and we're prompted with the add text. Click it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some text on here and I'm going to hit done. Now a couple things here to to note is uh, you are able to change the font so you can change the font, uh, basically whatever's installed on your phone. Uh, this also provides you a way with installing font as well. So you don't need an outside app in order to get this to work. Uh, but all you do is click on the My Fonts, and if you need the instructions on how to do it, it gives you instructions on how to do it for, you know, like the font. All right. So uh, pretty cool on those instructions for those folks that uh, need those additional fonts that are out there. All right. So obviously I'm going to keep that as the basic right now. Uh, with this selected, now we need to make it go into a circle or an arch, and I'll show you that here. If we go ahead and swipe uh, that menu here and we click on curve, with this little slider bar, we're able to arch the text or even make it go in a circle. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it go in a circle, and then I'm just going to go ahead and tap anywhere. And now I'm able to, to move this, all right? So now how do we get it into design space, right? Well, that's, uh, that's very easy. All we have to do is click on this little square in the up arrow and choose to email it yourself by clicking that little mail icon that you see right there. Once we do that, well, we can go ahead and fill out the email. It's going to attach it as a photo and now you are able to uh, receive that email. All right, so let's go ahead and go in Design Space. We've already received our email. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on Upload Image. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on Upload Image again. Now when you email this to yourself, make sure you are familiar with how to download an attachment. Um, we assume that you know. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Browse button. And you know we're gonna to navigate to where we found that, uh, that photo where we downloaded it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Open. Uh, now, you're going to realize that the file that it sends you is really big, uh, so it may take your Design Space program a little while when we're going through these various functions, just because of the, the pure size of the file. I want to go ahead and click on Continue. Now, we gave it that nice white background because we want to distinguish the background from the text. All right, So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that our selected race magic wand here is selected and I'm going to go ahead and click the white space. All right, You're going to see that we have checkerboard. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to click on the insides of the letters that uh, so we can see checkerboard as well. Now as you're doing this uh, what I always recommend is click on the preview button because the preview button will actually show you if you missed anything. All right. Now I missed some on purpose just to show you what it would look like in the preview. All right. So let's go ahead and wait for Design Space to go ahead and render the preview for us. There it is. You can take a look around the, the text and you come all the way to here and you notice that you, we missed this. So that's what the preview is for. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now what I'm going to do now is I do need to wait for Design Space to sort of catch up with me. Uh, I'm looking for the Save as Cut image to appear. Uh, I will select that and then once I see this appear here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. And now we're ready to basically add this to our canvas. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Alright, so you notice that it's right down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. We got the little green check mark, and I'm going to go ahead and click Insert Image. And now we have that text in a nice circle, and we didn't have to do this manually. 
by moving each letter around a circle inside design space all right so uh, that's what this app will do for you now, now keep in mind I mean if you're if you're looking for a font that uh, you know that design space specifically owns and has uh, you know you're not going to be able to do this unless you find a similar font uh, that you can download uh, you know download from default all right so hope you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up comment down below uh, and we'll see you next time all right thanks for subscribing thanks for watching bye